let's take a moment now to <clears throat> spend a little more time discussing depreciation and uh, fund flows. In particular, we need to talk about depreciation because depreciation, as we've stated, is not a cash flow per se, but the accountants have uh, deducted depreciation in coming to net income. This deduction isn't directly doesn't directly affect cash flows, however. Let's take a moment to look at the difference between uh, accounting and cash flows where we have, for example, the purchase of a piece of equipment. In column A here, we have the accounting flows for a company that earns $1,000, uh, and it, this company has purchased a $500 piece of equipment. So we'll see this 500 show up right here subsequently. But the company's purchased a $500 item and it's going to be depreciated over five years. So in the first year there's $100 of depreciation expense that occurs. And so the earnings before taxes are $900,000. We're assuming taxes are uh, at a 33% rate, taxes of $300, that leaves us earnings after taxes of $600. Now, as we noted, the depreciation is not actually a cash flow. What is the cash flow? Well, the cash flow was our expense of $500,000 or $500 our expenditure of $500 right there. It wasn't treated as an expense, it was treated as an asset, but it required cash. So if we want to adjust the accounting flows, so accrual basis to, to the cash flows, what we have to do is reduce the income by the $500 acquisition, okay, and then because we're treating the acquisition date as when the cash has actually been expended, we're going to add back the depreciation. The accountants included depreciation expense. We eliminate depreciation expense and recognize that the cash was actually for the whole purchase of, of the $500 item. That was, that was the, the cash that was required. When we get to year two, the firm we assume operates essentially the way it always has, so there's no change really in the firm from year one to year two, except that they're not buying another piece of equipment. So when year two comes along, we see that the company again has deducted depreciation expense. We're going to add that back, and so now our cash flows are 700, whereas our income was only 600. So in the first year, the depreciation was much smaller than the dollar value of the, of the asset that we acquired, and so our cash flows were much smaller there because we had to reflect the fact that we had purchased $500 of equipment. So the cash flows were less than the accounting income. In subsequent years, our cash flows are greater than our accounting income because the depreciation is added back, but there's no new equipment that's, that was purchased at this time.